Pretzel shoes. You're calling my shoes pretzel shoes. Brown with salt. I love it. All right. <laughs> Tina Varelli is our KitchenAid brand ambassador, and she is here to talk to us about the ice cream maker. Oh my now, goodness. this is going to work on all KitchenAid stand mixers except for the minis, right? Except for the minis and the wide mouth bowl lift. If you're confused on the bowl lift, just check the product page on QVC. There's a very few older models. Just a few older models and so it's important to know that. This is a great bowl system because mm -hmm. what you're going to do is freeze that bowl mm -hmm. and then this comes with some <gasps> recipes, yes? Um, I have a ton of recipes posted on my Facebook page. Okay. So Tina Varelli, KitchenAid on QVC. We have dairy free, sugar free, all kinds of recipes. Wonderful, wonderful. Including this candy bar, mm. Philadelphia style ice cream. Just look at this texture. And for people who are not from Philly, what is Philly style ice cream? So Philadelphia style is not a custard based, it's basically um, cream, milk, and sugar. Wow. And it just freezes so light and delicious. And look at this texture right out of the bowl, David. It is thick and rich and creamy. It makes up to two quarts of real churned ice cream. Mm. So churned ice cream means that it is moving and adding air and kind of moving around those ice crystals in such a delightful way. And the beauty of making your own ice cream is that you're in control of the ingredients. So if you want sugar-free ice cream, you can do that. If you want an all-fruit sorbet, you can do that. If you want to make a frozen cocktail, you can do that too. But it's just such luscious, creamy ice cream, and it's really so easy to make. So let's come back here and just show what, what we're going to get. And the bowl is what capacity? So two quart capacity. Two quart, and this is what you're going to freeze That's in the freezer. Right, put that in the freezer. We give you this uh, this uh, blending paddle, better known as a dasher. A dasher. That's a dasher. Right. There's your little uh, attachment or um, adapter. adapter. Mm -hmm. And then we give you the ice cream scoop. The ice cream scoop. So it's very very simple to use. You can see here that this is the bowl lift model here. So you just put your dasher into the bottom. And then you're going to add in your adapter and the weight of pulling this up into place is what holds it into place. That's so great. So all you do is turn it on. It generally uses the lowest speed. So you have your bowl icy frozen. I like to freeze it a day in advance or just keep it in my freezer all the time. And then you're going to make your mixture. This is a raspberry sorbet. It's just raspberries and simple syrup, which is just water and sugar. So it's really, really summery, luscious frozen sorbet dessert. And you can do all different kinds of fruits. You want your mixture to be nice and cold, refrigerated. Right. You just pour it in and turn it on. And look at the results here just the most luscious texture for that real churned ice cream delight. Now this price will go away end of, at the end of this month, which is the 30th, which is uh, a, week, a week from Friday, a week from Friday. So uh, very definitely get yours before the price goes up. Now you've made a sugar substitute chocolate. That is right. So this is a sugar free chocolate. Just look at that luscious texture. All of these here froze in under 30 minutes, more like 20 minutes here. Mm. So this is the new design of our ice cream maker and it freezes so, so quickly. And we also have a sugar free chocolate. Um, peanut butter sauce that you could put on oh, that if nice. you wanted to. Well, yes, please. <laughs> Look at the yummy texture there, David. Here, All let right. me just... Here's a spoon. Oh, good. Just scoop that off there for yourself. There we go. Okay. And then put a little bit of that sugar-free peanut butter sauce on mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little warm, too. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. almost like a hot fudge. Oh, nice. And now, sugar-free ice cream, chocolate ice cream and sugar-free peanut butter sauce. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> oh my word, is that good? Mm. And you'd never know it was sugar-free 
If someone didn't tell you. That's right. And it's so great to be in mm. control of the ingredients, mm. in control of the freshness. There's nothing better than freshly churned ice cream. Just look at this one. It finished so quickly. I turned it off. Mm. This is a butter toffee mixture. Oh. Look at that. So you can eat this, David, right out of the bowl like this because this new attachment freezes Which is really, what I would like to do, eat it right out of the bowl. Really mm. thick and creamy. If you wanted to, you could make it even harder by packing it up into your favorite freezer container and ripening it is what we call it when you, um, when you put it in the freezer and get it even harder. But I just love this texture there. Look at that beautiful, rich creaminess that mm. you made yourself. You're in control of the ingredients, and it's just so fabulous. Tina Varelli, it is always a pleasure. Did we see a picture of your dad? I don't think we did oh, the last down time. Here. <laughs> Let's take a quick look. <laughs> That's Paul. And Paul is watching out for us from heaven, yes. That is right, that is right. And your sweet mother was here on Mother's Day, she I remember. She was here on Mother's Day, yeah. And so that is a very special memory. And I know that you're celebrating your husband today. He's the father of your two girls. That's right, Lou. We're going to have a nice dinner, a steak dinner tonight. Oh, a steak dinner. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Happy, happy Father's Day. Let me mention my shoes real quickly because I know a lot of you have been asking about the Karsten shoes, and these are from the Frope line. They have the little zippers on the side.